Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich of regional history, specifically the Humi Chow Mein Sandwich from Fall River, Massachusetts. Yes, I even bought the actual Humi Chow Mein mix to make this. Um, it's going to be a mess, but it might taste good. Kick things off by stirring in their gravy mixture into a half cup of warm water. Then adding three cups of boiling water. Now we bring a cup each of chopped celery and chopped onion to a boil and cook that slightly. After reading the instructions for the 50th time, I realized that I'm supposed to actually add the stock to the vegetables, get it to a boil so it can thicken. Duh. Now we pour our liquid vegetable mixture over fried noodles that came in the box. Clearly makes a ton. It says you can add cooked ground beef or ground pork, but I, I'm going chicken because I like saying chicken chow mein. All right, now we're to put this onto the bottom of a hamburger bun. Yeah, I'm told uh, no one in Fall River eats this with uh, their hands. They eat it with their knife and fork, but... <laughs> Let's give this chow mein sandwich a go. Admittedly, this is tasty in a food that's not really good for you kind of way. You got fried noodles, you got a gravy. Sure, there's some vegetables in there, onion and celery, but really this is all about the flavor of the gravy and the fried noodles. And you put it between bread. This to me sounds like someone came up with this after a night out, if you know what I mean. I do want to plus it up a little though. I'm gonna add some uh, white pepper. I think that's gonna be a nice little kick. Okay, let's give this rapidly deteriorating <laughs> chow mein sandwich plussed up with white pepper a go. The white peppers bring a little bit of heat and also a little bit of floral flavors to it. And it's just a tasty compliment to all the other flavors in here. Well, the original chow mein sandwich, and I think this uh, was developed sometime in the 1930s, um, it is a hot mess of a sandwich. And it is tasty, but it's also tasty in a way that you know is not necessarily the most healthy thing in the world for you. Um, it's going out food, whether it's you've already been out or you're about to go out type food. Um, I'm gonna give it flavor-wise, I'll probably give that a six and a half. It is tasty, um, maybe even seven. Plus up with a little white pepper, seven, seven and a half. I'm definitely gonna finish that for lunch, take a nap, put the rest away for later, finish that at a later date, and then I've uh, got uh, three more boxes of the mix to get through. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd make this again, but I'm definitely gonna finish it. All right, see you tomorrow.